All right, so check it out. We're here on Promenade des Anglais in Nice, France. And I'm about to head out on a uh, medium long run, 18 kilometers. We're heading that direction, uh, going to a place called uh, Villefranche. And we will also go, wow, did you hear the cannon? That's like 12 o'clock here in Nice. They, they shoot a cannon to announce midday. I want to take you guys with me on the run. Uh, let's go. So here on uh, the promenade, there's always a lot of people, uh, often a lot of runners too. And so I do a lot of my easy runs here on the promenade, just you know, listening to podcasts and stuff like that. Uh, today is also an easy run, of course, but a little bit longer in duration. 18k, medium long run for me. Anyway, this is a great place to train as a runner, as a cyclist probably as a triathlete as well because you can get the swimming done and yeah just a lot of uh, athletes here as a child I used to go rollerblading on this promenade because we used to travel to Nice in the summer you know my family my parents and I and my brother sometimes my cousins and uncles and aunts as well and we would always walk on the promenade in the evening especially and just go rollerblading and enjoying life. So we're on our way to the end of the promenade now. The beach pretty much goes along the whole city all the way to the airport. So it's really a great place to run. Very social, a lot of runners. I would say like hundreds of runners every time I go running here. You pass hundreds of runners of all levels and abilities. Some slow, some super fast. I'm somewhere in the middle. Right, so we're heading out of town. You can see Nith down there. That's where we started out and it's just incredible views. All right, we're heading up a hill, Mont Boron. So, a little bit of climbing ahead, but uh, not much cars, which is nice. Sort of like a little residential street almost. I love getting my body into this uh, slow grinding gear that you use when you go uphill. Just, it's just about finding your effort and sticking to it, you know? Now that I have a smartphone with me, it's just so much easier. I used to get lost a lot, but now I can just check the map and I know where I'm heading. I might still be lost though, I don't know. It looks kind of weird. What the hell? It's so weird. Ah, but there's the road. Here we go. There we go. It's nice, nice road. So I'm wearing obviously my Osprey Rev 6 that I made a review of recently. I'll put a link to it here. And then uh, it's pretty comfortable temperatures. So I'm just wearing a pair of shorts 
and a long sleeve sweater shoes I'm wearing the Hoka One One Bondi 6 my favorite shoe nowadays I also made a review of that there's a link in the description and just check this out oh my god All right, so check it out. We're at the top of the climb. This is the view from the top. I don't know how high we are, maybe 200, 300 meters above sea level, maybe. At least, I don't know if you can catch it well on the GoPro, but the view is pretty freaking epic. All the way in the back there, you can even see some snow on the Alps. And then, of course, mountains all around, and that's the big city. And down there, you can see the promenade where we started our run today i'm gonna wrap it up here even though i have a few more kilometers to go i want to finish off the video with heading down some freaking awesome stairs though so stay tuned i'll take you guys with me on some stairs downhill super epic views uh, fast uh, so we'll do that in a minute but i just want to sort of touch on my training over the last few weeks uh, you know i was sick twice in like a couple of months uh, lost a bit of fitness which is not too cool but I'm getting back into it, hitting about 85k this week, if everything goes as planned, so that's, that'll be good. And you know, I'm doing most of my training on the flat, down there in Flatland, uh, because uh, I have a flat half marathon coming up, or at least pretty flat, coming up in a few months in Sweden. If you didn't catch my video on my 2019 races, I'll put a link to it here so you can check it out. Uh, but yeah, overall feeling pretty good. Uh, fitness coming back slowly but surely. It's amazing how much you lose in, in, in with a few weeks off. But then again, of course, I know it comes back pretty quickly as well. And it's really about that long-term consistency. That's really where it's at. Uh, yeah, it's just a city that I really love. Love being here. It's great for training, as I said in the, uh, earlier in the video. Whether you're a triathlete, a cyclist, or a runner, this is like... This is a, an amazing place to train. Uh, you can, it's really versatile. You can get flat or you can go high. So there's a lot of opportunities there. Anyway, uh, let's go over towards those stairs. Uh, standing here in the middle of the bushes, really. Let's balance our way back and, uh, and head over to those uh, stairs. And then we're gonna wrap up the video from there. Thanks for watching though. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Give the video a like and uh, check out some of my other adventure run vlog videos. I'll put a link to the playlist somewhere at the end of this video. But now, let's go to the stairs.